is a new action comedy series on Netflix starring Arnold Schwarzenegger called FUBAR. Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of my favorite actors of all time. I grew up watching his movies, and I love that we're currently in an era where a bunch of the iconic actors of the 80s and 90s are getting TV shows like Stallone, getting Tulsa King, Kevin Costner with Yellowstone. So when I heard that Schwarzenegger was getting a series kind of in the vein of True Lies for Netflix, I was excited to check it out. I watched it over this past week and I thought it was like soul crushingly terrible. <laughs> I don't have a nice way to put it. I can't sugarcoat it. I, I struggled to finish it. It, it like the first episode I thought was fun enough, charming enough. I was like, all right, I kind of dig this. I mean, it's not fantastic, but hey, you know, it's several doses of additional action comedy Arnold. I'm down for it. By the end of episode three, I was ready to throw in the towel, but I wanted to be able to make a video about it, so I kept going. I thought, hopefully it'll get better. Beginning of episode four made everything worse, and it was like every single episode was significantly worse than the previous episode. And I only wanted to love it. I only wanted to rave about it, say how much, oh, it's great. It's a TV show. It's like classic Arnold. He's a little older, a little bit more mature, different phase of life, but... We're getting eight hours of Arnold doing his thing. No, that is not what this is. And so why doesn't it work for me? One of the big gigantic pieces is that the characters are deeply, deeply unlikable. All of them, pretty much. There's no one here that you actually like. And they'll do things that make you kind of like, oh, okay, I see why, where they're going with Arnold's character and his daughter, and then they have them make choices that no normal person would be okay with. Just with the spy stuff of like spies are always involved in, you know, morally questionable behaviors. They like take it to this whole other level with the way in which they kill people, when they kill people, when they torture people, the way they have affairs, cheat on people, and then rationalize all of it. You're just watching it like these are awful awful people. There's nothing about them that I like. I don't care if they die. They're supposed to be the people that I'm resonating with, connecting with, invested in their journey. And I just think that they are terrible. And that just kind of like killed, killed the show for me. Yeah, like in particular, the daughter is one of the worst characters I've ever seen on a TV show. It, it made me feel bad for the actress. I was excited to see her in this because she was in Top Gun Maverick. Oh, cool. She's getting to get to be in a show with Arnold. This could be neat. Even her first scene in the show, she comes off kind of charming, likable. And you're like, oh, I'm interested in where they're going with that dynamic as each of them discovers what's really going on with the other person. And then immediately, they just turn her into a monster that uh, just treats people horribly. She's always shouting. She's a hypocrite. Like just none of it adds up. None of it feels consistent. It doesn't feel like growth. And she keeps making worse and worse choices while continuing to judge her father. She copies his mistakes and then judges him. And you kind of see where they're trying to do this thing. Like, yeah, she's just like him and she can't see it. Like, but it's so superficial, it's so obvious, it handled so poorly that I just hated the character. But Arnold's not much better. I mean, he has more charm and he gets more kind of those moments to do his Arnold humor and everything. But his character's terrible too. I mean, they're just awful, awful, awful people the way that they are written. From there, when you get to the basic plot of it, like I said, it's kind of like a spin on True Lies, where in True Lies, you know, family man, he's actually, but he's actually a spy. Same idea here, just different phase of life. And instead of it being about the, the relationship with the wife, it's about the relationship with the daughter. The surprise twist, the daughter is also a spy. This isn't a spoiler, this is the basic setup of the show. And it just feels derivative. And in particular, when you have a different movie from the same actor with the same premise, same basic genre, that's a classic of all time, and then you see him doing something that just feels like a cheap ripoff of himself. It's a true lies knockoff. It just happens to star Arnold. It just highlights how far he's fallen. 
And I, I mean, it, that's why it's heartbreaking to like, oh, no, this is what Arnold's careers turned into. He's a cheap knockoff of himself. Other issues, the tone is all over the place where it will do just total cornball humor, goofy, campy stuff. And the next one, child cancer. Like, side by side. And it'll do like slapstick torturing someone. It's played for last while someone's being illegally tortured, followed immediately by child is about to die. Like it does stuff like that. It just, it, it's all over the place. There's no control of the tone. Um, and then it's an action series and there's not like one memorable action sequence. There's actually very little action in it. It's like a lot of spy type things, um, but not actual big set pieces too often. And even when you do get like a big fight with Arnold towards the end of the season, like it's he throws a punch, the other guy throws a punch. Just doing this, but cut three times every time a punch is thrown because they don't want to hurt Arnold or something like that. And they didn't have a stunt double or they couldn't find any way to make it exciting. So none of it works. Oh, and then the, one of the side characters in it is like this curly haired lady that I guess she's a stand up comedian in real life. And she's supposed to be the comic relief that's always like cracking jokes and putting people down painfully unfunny I have no idea maybe her stand up routine maybe this stick works in that context in this show it's just this like shouting woman that is a doofus that doesn't do anything right that was on me it's talking down to everyone with like just like the lowest of brow humor, the most simplistic, basic jokes the entire time. <sighs> it's Arnold Schwarzenegger doing a TV. And, oh, and the villain here is uh, Gabriel Luna. He's a guy from Austin. Infamously, I got to interview him at a press junket and I screwed it up <laughs> right from the get go. I'll tell you after. Um, well, thank you for interviewing me. Or, excuse me. That's yeah. <laughs> I'm interviewing you. Um, so I'm always in support of him. I always want him to do well. But like everything about this, I wanted it to be good. I wanted it to succeed. I was excited to check it out early. And as soon as the first episode ended, it just lost all momentum. Everything I was excited about was like, oh, this is not good. This is not a good direction to go. Oh man, uh, this is not working for me. So unfortunately, as someone that wanted to love this show, or at least say, hey, it's dumb, it's derivative, but it's a lot of fun. I can't say that. I can't say any of that. I, I thoroughly disliked an Arnold Schwarzenegger action comedy where he's doing spy stuff. That's a TV show version of Trueless. I actively disliked it, which is crazy to me that that happened, but it's the reality. I did not care for this. The plot's derivative, the characters are unlikable, the writing is terrible, it's not funny, the action's not well done, and there's several side characters that are abysmal. And so no one, no one, nothing, like just nothing redeeming. Maybe some of you guys liked it, I don't know, but uh, I did not like it at all.